Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And we're headed down here to our next mission. Yes, we actually have a next mission all ready to go. We don't have to search for a half hour looking for one. <laughs> How's that for a change of pace after these last two or three episodes? So uh, we're going to continue flying down here with our two ships up here and take on this Anu Haven defense. What I realized uh, last time, there's a couple things we got to take care of. I noticed that our spider drone weapon, we need, we could use an Arachne SP-1. So uh, Shane Marine Grunt Vanson also has the ability to shoot spider drones, which I value from my infiltrators. So, and along with his armor we're building uh, for her, we're gonna get this built also, since I can afford it, at least right at the moment. I also, by the way, gave Citizen Eileen a pistol. We happen to have an independent one laying around. We'll see about upgrading that sometime down the road, but at least Citizen Eileen has a pistol now. So we won't be caught short without that in the future. And then there's one other thing I'm actually just going to splurge on now. Even though we, we do need to get a mutation lab built and, you know, our funds are going to disappear before you know it. But I'm going to go in here just because it has such a long build time. But we can afford it. It's only 68 tech. I was thinking that'd be a lot more tech. And then 1215 which we can afford with all the trading we did as far as materials. I'm building the Tiamat. Uh, I know it's slow. I know it's pokey. But we're going to have plenty of sites on the map like lairs and nests and things that uh, independent missions uh things that are not time sensitive that we could easily have a team flying around to take care of on the tiamat so uh, i think it's a good value for us and in, in fact in this manner by building it even though it's going to take over three days with our current manufacturing uh we don't need any more ships then. This should, this should cover everybody we're planning on hiring and being able to get everybody mobile. That is my thinking. So uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Bite the bullet, boom. It's at the end of the queue. Uh, and uh, materials are okay-ish. Food is okay-ish. And tech is not. So that's kind of where we sit right now. So uh, before we hit the, the play button and get everybody moving, we're going to come over here because uh, we kind of didn't make it here in time and then just sat here pouting. <laughs> Woe is us. We did not make it here in time. So what we're going to do is give you a target that can't expire. We're going to send this team over towards the lair and see how they can handle the lair. So uh, Machine Hater and Manticore 1, we only have slight stamina loss from Sean Skelp at McGuire, but nothing we can't deal with so I think it's the time to get over there with this team and get that going all right so uh, th let's keep our eyes over here I think this is the closest next mission that we have I'll be shocked if we make it to the lair first <laughs> too bad i don't have a camera on my face so you can see my shocked face if that does happen but we're, we're gonna get going here and uh see what our next mission will be and we have the haven under attack and we have made it there now uh it's not a great tech payoff oh well we'll just have to deal with it it is anu after all not synedrian and uh, daytime, so let's cancel this. Yeah, there we go. There's there's what we wanted to see. So let's uh, start the mission. And this is one where everybody's going out. Eight of eight on our team. Road train, you're going out. Let's make sure you have maybe some backup stuff within you. Uh, the nice thing is we do have the armadillo grenade launcher, which is the fire grenades that we get to launch so that that's kind of going to be a fun toy for us to play with so what it would be nice to do just as backup i think we could we could manage to build a, a few more grenades and just put three i'm thinking three grenades on board this thing and uh, i may switch out one of the grenades if i don't see enough med kits amongst the team but for now this is where they're going And that's how we're going to deal with it. Uh, now that we have a little of this, maybe after this mission we can pop somebody over uh, to the 
Chaos Marketplace, too, for seeing if they have anything to spend some materials on uh, that can help buff us up weapon-wise or vehicle-wise. Uh, let's get back in here, take a look at our individuals, make sure there's no SP. Nope, and we're fully laden here. I'm going to keep the grenade in your hand. Trooper Square Nuts. Shane Marine Grunt Manson. We're getting you some stuff built. That's the good news. And you're not quite fully laden, so let's give you another... Uh, I think we got enough ammo. Let's give you another grenade. Tomas, terrible. We have, I think, a, still a 0% weapon here, which is pretty powerful. So uh, we'll use that when the, the situation warrants it and keep moving. Airhawk, uh, you also have a nice heavy. So we got some nice weaponry on this team that hasn't been out that much. Uh, I really boosted you guys up for that haven def or base defense now, didn't we? So uh, I, I'm happy with how the makeup goes there. Uh, I think that I will do, since eventually we're going to pick up PDWs for you, so jet jumping and being able to shoot with a PDW up close is not a bad play. I don't always have to pick up jet pack control, but when they have a right, the proper secondary weapon that maybe makes it make sense, I'm thinking maybe we go do that this time. And then we'll just hold on to the SP. And then Landon Avery. Guess what, my man? I have nothing else to add, to add to you. You're just going to get your rookie experience out in the field now. So uh, let's cross our fingers that you're up to the challenge. Uh, I wish you had a little more carrying power, perhaps. I don't know if I want to dip into the pool that much. Besides, uh, it would be nice to have somebody to have one of these. Do we have anybody... So, you know, I'm kind of thinking maybe you, Tomas, I might give up that pretty little weapon of yours because these two are pretty dang good to begin with. Just so I have somebody who has the ability to zap out there on the field. You don't quite have the ability ready for action to trade it around yet, but I'm bringing that out instead. And then we're going to go down here to you, Landon Avery. And instead of the shotgun for you, since you're pretty low level, don't have as much strength as I might prefer, we'll give your backup weapon as a weapon that might be better at a slight distance. At least we'll play it this way for now. Weapons are, you know, subject to change all the time at a moment's notice. Okay, let's get down there. That's it. All items on this battlefield will be automatically recovered. Let's go be successful. Alrighty, so we're all picking up delirium on this one. We knew that was going to happen. We have a citizen right nearby us, but we don't see. In fact, we have a couple citizens within range. He's the, he's the likely one that we can activate and get out of here with this being an exit zone, just so at least we save someone. Other than that, we don't know what's on the map, and I hate these kind of maps. Things can be hiding around every little corner. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to send you out here for some exploration road train down this path. And you probably either saw more citizens or ah, disciples of Anu. And the enemy has made an appearance over here. Arthron Brute Prime, not the strongest in the world of uh, the variety, but he's still a threat. Oh, and look who's standing next to you. You guys look like you enjoy fire. You guys are a tempting target for flames. So, do we have a good chance to land one here? I would say the chance to shoot off the map is minimal. Let's give it a go. Oh, did you return fire? I'm sorry. I almost didn't feel that. Or at least Road Train almost didn't feel that. And you are burned, baby, and burning. And uh, this guy's a hitman, though. Oh, I guess I... He doesn't have the best of the weapons, though, at least. Thank goodness for small favors. Uh, so everybody's burning. There's still a threat. Uh, I'm going to continue our trek. And see how we might want to deal with this. 
Maybe we want to add some more hurt into these guys over here. The buds. And we can't see them. Yeah, we can come out here and have a shot. It's just going to be a single shot. Uh, I kind of hesitate to throw yet another grenade over there because uh, I don't want to have them blow away and not be burning anymore. So the problem with that is uh, if they're going to be probably charging out of the flames to some degree. And we have this guy that may help us if we're lucky. Uh, so Shane Marine Grunt Vanton, I'm giving you this duty. Because without your new armor that we're eventually going to get you, I don't feel comfortable at you staying hidden. Let's put it that way. You know, the, the priest armor is a little too flashy for my tastes, and I have a feeling you could be seen. <laughs> Who knows? So maybe, well, we can't quite get out there for a shot with you guys unless we move you a little farther and do a little quick aim. Probably going to be the same for you. Airhawk, maybe uh, you can jump somewhere and either activate. Now, there's no one close enough for you to activate. So maybe we just try to get close enough to reach an activation coming up. Anyone we can get on our side? Yeah, you just, just can't move far, far quite far far enough uh, so we'll bring you right here well we'll we'll leave you on the corner maybe we'll have a chance to pick this guy up if he runs by you maybe you can catch up to him uh, trooper square nuts two dashes and you're not you're not gonna be doing much over here so let's send you over uh, to maybe pick up some rescues that could be in danger I'm not gonna spend any will we're gonna get you into a little bit of cover And then you guys, we're going to see if we can get a shot or two over there. The problem with doing this is uh, unless we can take the hitman out, I'm not too worried about shot. Well, this guy has a weapon too, though. So that's not the most protected spot. This says you don't have a shot. Well, this at least has a semblance of cover. So let's let's give it a shot. Uh, let's take a look. Let's try to hurt this guy. And now we're gonna hope uh, that we hurt him enough. Not quite. We still have to worry about him. Can I get? Is it possible? No. Apparently it's not. And I don't see any other angle unless there's some kind of lucky angle down this way where we have an opening through here and we can hit. So we're going to try it. Let's go. Uh, we're not going to go with the extra heavy special weapon. Uh, we're going to try the quick aim with a regular weapon. And see if we can finish this job. Okay, the one that could hurt us the most, we took out. Although, well, the one we feared the most, well, no, they could, they, this guy could still shoot us. So we're not out of the woods. Aha, uh -huh, he helped find someone for us. Yeah, they helped us by becoming targets, but he did not go for me. He ran right past them. Oh, because he lost his uh, claw. His claw burned off. Oh, now we know what that was that got hit. He's going for a citizen. Well, he's definitely shredding our, our front armor, but that's 
probably his last act. He's going to die. He's not going to die, but he doesn't have a spitterhead or a claw, so he's just running around on fire. He's like the, the, the yeah, the human burning man. Uh, let's see. Now we got to find some more individuals to deal with. Hurtful, New Jericho weapon, ghoul. This one actually bothers me the most because uh, he can get us to panic. And I can't get a line on him. So what I'm going to do instead is, I guess, activate over here. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe. Let's see if you are able to reach a grenade right there. And do some more burn, baby burn. I don't mind that at all. So we got a Myrmidon over here that I've noticed. What kind is it? Acid. We got these two guys burning. This guy can't move so much. Now I'm thinking, let's uh, let's do send you over to pick up some more help. Moving out. Enemy spotted. And we saw yet another enemy. This one's a thug with a very dangerous close-up weapon. Can't wait. And he's the guy you can see, but I don't think at this distance. That's, well, we're, we're, we're going for it. Oh, you can hit him that bad at this distance. Uh, he he could have maybe hit you that bad at this distance. That hurt, didn't it? And that was a, 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 a pretty amazing shot, and he's going to bleed out. So now we're back to these two that are burning. They can still hurt us, though. They can still hurt us. Who do we see here? Oh, there's a there's an unhit guy, a, a, a pure gentleman, not burning or anything, way in the distance. Can you hit him from this far away? Oh, not through that smoke. I'm not going to make you take that shot. And Shane Marine Grum Vanson, just in case you didn't notice, you're exposed. See, I, I got to get you that new armor because just having an infiltrator that can't stay hidden is is it's not the best thing in the world so let's at least give you cover and try wearing this guy down a little bit so maybe the fire can do its thing well you missed so let's move you over here what did I oh I think I kept you from moving and I didn't want to. So we're, we're fine on this side. We got an acid Myrmidon. We got a guy in the roof over here. And we got these burning guys that can still hurt us. So let's see what we can do about it. Trooper Square Nuts. I could uh, double dash you here and swing a stick at him. The problem is you'd then get virused up the yin yang. So that's an issue. So what we're going to do is they were they they they're, they're, they're going to shoot at these guys. So let's do that instead and get these guys out of the way as best we can. Landon will come back to you. Now I'm hoping your pistol is good enough. Ah, uh, I I I I asked you to fire, so let's see if you can fire. There we go. Now this guy needs to move. There, that that's that's a more decent shot. Let's try it. Apparently it was not decent enough. And if we take one more, you know, we're going to try your gun kata. Come get some. That's more like it. Wait for him to step out. That's not like it. One more shot. And uh, Trooper Square Nuts, we're going to work on your aim. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you back here. Cause this guy can't hurt you. And it gets you in range to rescue potentially someone else coming up. Alright, Landon Avery. Now road train, you could still move. Uh, and yes, the acid thing would hurt you. Well, why don't we, we have a chance to rescue? Of course, he's behind a wall, so he's not really threatened right now. So let's come present ourselves as a threat to the acid Myrmidon. Because I, I, I think it'll hurt you, but, you know. That's why you got all that armor. I can bring you here for one quick aim to see if we can take this guy out. You know, and, and ultimately, because he's got good cover, we're not dealing with a guy I really want to deal with. And if I do a quick aim, you can then maybe get you back into cover. In fact, we'll have you crouching here. Advancing. And then that way I don't have to do a quick aim and maybe your shot will be a little bit better. Wait for him to lean out. Uh, I was a little slow. You could do better than that zigzag. That's more like it. He's gonna burn. He is gonna burn. Uh, we're gonna bring you up in this direction to help out. I'll be there. And finally, Airhawk. I don't really want to move you any closer to the guy with the virus weapon, so uh, we'll bring you here. Give you extra armor so it can't pierce you, hopefully. So we got a lot of acid on us. He's going to eat through some of our armor when that takes off. And it looks like uh, the virus guy is burning to death. So we don't have to worry about that either. Let's see what we can deal with next. I really don't want to keep you there to keep taking acid like that. I mean, you did your job. These guys are now close to start dealing with him. And I think it's time for backing off road train. You did your job. Uh, let's back you off in this direction. Let's get him moving too. Uh, let's continue backing you off. And we're going to kind of pull you back a little bit. No more fire grenades this turn. Okay, now we got to worry about this guy. And uh, it seems like you're in a great spot to try and make this guy worry. And you have a chance if we can take him out. And we're going to center here because there seems to be the less, least amount of holes to shoot through him. And we're going to try and take him out so he does not return fire. Oh well. You did a pretty dang good job. And uh, the guy you rescued recently is going to finish it off. Because all he has to do, he doesn't have quick aim. So he's going to try and shoot into that leg that you weakened and finish him off. Eyes peeled. Yeah, that one. Alright. Landon, we got, we got some acid that needs some handling. And I don't know that you guys have, I don't know if a stick will, can, is, is, I just don't think swinging a stick is, is guaranteed to take out a torso. So, um, maybe instead, let's try this. We start to weaken this thing down this way. And 
just take a couple shots. Good job. Okay, so I'm also hoping these guys are smart enough to come through here and, sh and you know what they're going to do? They're going to go after this guy and waste their turns on this guy. You can see it coming. Unless he, yeah, because they'll move before he has a chance to bleed out. Doggone it. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? So what we could do is try coming here. Shake it, baby. I'm gonna have to worry about you taking some acid, perhaps. We're gonna try this. And we didn't take out a torso. Well, All set. there's others in the uh, vicinity. I don't think that's uh, far enough. For and you don't have a grenade in your hand anyway. So all I can do is come over here, try a little quick aim. We have just enough will to do a quick aim. Let's see if we can hit just enough. And we took the torso out. That is all I was trying to accomplish. Now he can't hurt us. Unless he runs next to us to die. So now we don't have to rely on the Anu guys over there. And we're safe over here. This guy's gone. So it's really uh, wrapping up a lot of loose ends is what it looks like right now. I don't know if I see any alpha threats left out there. So who's left to move? You are. Got to remember you're not hidden anymore. Let's try here. Airhawk will come back towards the citizen. I told you these guys. Dumb and dumber right there. All right, we did it. Here we thought, I thought we were going to have to run down and chase down those that were bleeding and burning and, and whatnot, but we, we, we ended it just fine. We did it. How about that? Alrighty then. We, we got the rewards. Let's go uh, take a look at how much we spent in the process. Oh, advanced melee weapons are now available and food production potentially. I don't know that we We'll end up needing that. I don't think I've ever built uh, the food production ever. And we have failed to identify the origin, although we probably know it. And we hardly spent anything. So those rewards go into the bank for us. That was much needed. Good job, guys. Unfortunately, did we lose? Where's uh, Nikolai? So we didn't, did we, I, I could have sworn, did we lose a body part from anybody? Apparently not. Although we, we took damage on road train. So what I'm going to do is come back here, get road train fixed back up and uh, debate in the meantime, if this is a good enough, uh, you know, it's not a full team technically. It's not a full team yet, technically. So I don't know if this is the right team to go against a lair yet without, you know, Eight, sol eight soldiers or at least uh, enough to have five going along with the vehicle. So we'll put that in there. Uh, we could actually start building our own armadillos. Uh, combat training we'll put in there because it's shared. It might be quick. Yeah, 12 hours, 12 hours. And uh, I'm going to have to take some time going through these different things uh, I can increase weapon uh, increase damage on, on a lot of enemies with these vivisections too. advanced bionic technology I don't need a speeda I haven't even developed our own shotgun because we've been finding enough uh, Anu shotguns I haven't needed to uh, we gained something from the Myrmidon autopsy I don't off the top of my head remember what uh, let's finish our basic bionic tele technology uh, mutagen harvesting, yeah, we're going to need that coming up because our, our
place is starting to get full. We need more space, and therefore I want to be able to convert into mutagen. So we'll go in this order. Plus, I want neurotoxin weapons. I want the pistol so we can start uh, capturing more and more enemies. So that, that's where we're standing here. We're going to send the two teams back to the base. And uh, we got some other teams flying. Both to recover at the base and both, in fact, where was the other one? Are we near, we're near here uh, to pick up our newest sniper. So I, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna actually, I think this might, we might be lucky enough here, guys, to have a shorter mission for a change. I've been doing over an hour the last few. Uh, so I'm actually going to stop it here. We're on our way to a lair. We're on our way to picking up our sniper we've been trying to get for the longest time. And uh, then we're going to get other people healed and be able to think about doing yet another lair. So the, the lair attack is about to commence. And uh, we'll do that next time. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching. And I do hope to see you next time.